What do you use to remind yourself that everything isn't that bad? I remember that Yahoo hasn't given up. So why should I? Reminds me of a saying that I used to repeat to myself occasionally. If Internet Explorer is brave enough to ask to be your default browser, you can be brave enough to ask that girl out. I found this absolutely hilarious, and one time it actually gave me the courage to ask somebody out lol. I'm not homeless anymore. My chronic illness is in remission. So I can feed myself and even work outside the house. Life is good. I think about all the natural wonders. All the organisms both beautiful and terrifying that inhabit this earth with me. I think about the fact that no matter how bad things seem on our pale blue dot the cosmos are massive, complex, and new stars are still being born in stellar nurseries all the time. I try to remember that we are all just making it up as we go along. Biggest realization for me as an adult was when I learned nobody actually knows what they are doing. Just their best. That despite the fact I suffer kidney failure and am on dialysis 3 days a week, I remind myself that I'm at least still alive and can still be with my family many other serious illnesses don't give that luxury. Would like to point out him from UK for those who have asked. Scotland to be more specific. I have a roof over my head. Yeah man we are not all that lucky. We have oxygen. Oxygen is nice right? I text a friend and see if they want to have dinner. We plan something and cook it with a good drink. Then another. Repeat as necessary. Life feels pretty good after a few drinks and dinner with friends. Also I get to try out a lot of new recipes. That experiences with people is what matters most, not money or material. What if experiences with people is the problem? Experience different people. I think about the fact that all things considered I am reasonably healthy and there's no warrant out for my arrest. Yet. Riding my bike and listening to music, it takes my mind off of everything and I forget what's going on and I'm just happy. Doing anything as long as there is music. Hopefully this gets past all the award stuff, but one thing that reminds me that everything isn't all bad is that I have people and pets that want me around. I can have an utterly terrible day, come home, and my dog is waiting at the door to greet me. Every day. I'll go lay down, and he'll come cuddle with me. My sister notices the funk, and will make me dinner, or a dessert or something to lift my spirits, and I don't have to say a word. I'm close enough with my best friend that he can notice something off about me just by the way I text, and he'll come over to play some video games and talk. I don't need a wheelchair anymore. Your name wouldn't happen to be John Loke, would it? When I lay down at night with my cat, who is 20 years old. She's such a love bug and I'm so lucky to have had her this long and all the stress just melts away. I laugh at myself for being a big early I or. We're only here for a minute. Enjoy it. My love for deer on the side of the road. The ones that are alive. It reminds me the innocence of nature and makes me feel warm and alive. This whole thread is reminding me that life is not always so bad. Thank you. I can die later. The world is going to kill me, whether I like it or not. So why not stick around for a few more decades and see what happens. In some ways it's comforting to know I don't have to do this forever and I don't have to kill myself. Curiosity and things to look forward to. Even TV shows. Games movies, or visits from relatives. I always pick something to look forward to. I've heard that's a really good strategy for people struggling with suicidal thoughts. Pick one or two things that are coming out weeks or months from now a new game, book, movie, whatever and remind yourself that you will miss out on that one thing if you go through with it. It's the little things that keep us going and it's the little things that are often the most important. 
used to say this about finding out about how Game of Thrones would end, and now I wish I'd just killed myself. My cat pretty much instinctively knows when I'm down. He gets very cuddly, and won't leave my side if I'm upset. My fiance always says that he must be a loved one reincarnated. My kids. They are helping me more than anything else right now. I had a stroke a couple of weeks ago only 27, and no health explanation for the event, and while I was in the hospital walking down the hall with my good old buddy Winston, what I named my fourth drip machine pumping me with blood thinner an older gentleman across the hall saw me, and told his nurse I was far too young to be in the IQ. He had a little plastic pumpkin for Halloween, and not much else, so he asked the nurse to give it to me. I never found out which patient gave me that pumpkin, but since the stroke, whenever things get stressful I look at it now sitting on my desk at work, and remember that everything is okay. I plan on keeping my little plastic stroke pumpkin for the rest of my life however long or short it may be. High school is almost over, and a new chapter of my life is about to start. that I'm still breathing. After two suicide attempts I haven't had a negative thought like that in a long f peeping time. A year to be exact. I haven't had a drink in a few weeks and yeah. I'm starting back at a job that I lost a few years ago. Surprised that they're giving me another shot. Also, it's winter but it's been so beautiful the last week. And when my husband gets off work, we are gonna go down to the water and just kick it. I go for a walk. Sometimes a little sunshine will help ease my anxiety. Someone somewhere has gone through something much worse and made it through. Why can't I? My youngest daughter Emma. She is one and one half years old and just knows how to enjoy every second of life. She wakes with a smile and goes to bed grinning while holding her Winnie the Pooh. She falls while walking and just dusts herself off and keeps going. Every time she hears a motorcycle she says, oh 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 and then vroom vroom, while signing motorcycle. I have a very long list of things that give me a certain feeling. Like appreciative nostalgia almost but not quite. A few things from it are. Air conditioning in hotels. Trains. Lucky numbers. Being introduced to something new by someone you love. Mixes labeled with themes like rain, for sleeping, for driving, when the lights dim before previews in the movies. I look at my adult kids. They are happy, successful adults. Makes me feel satisfied that I did a good job as mom. My mom. She died from cancer at the age of 48 while my sister was addicted to heroin. My dad was cheating on her and was going through bankruptcy. Regardless she still showed people so much kindness and was a fantastic woman who was always smiling. I have depression and my life isn't so great right now, but I always tell myself that it can get better and that if my mom could live day to day with a smile on her face so can I and I feel more people going through a terrible time can really use an example like her to at least give them a little push in the right direction. When days are hard and nights are long. When storms are aging rough. When all my dreams are none too strong. And hopes ain't hope enough. I close my eyes to hear the breeze. The secret words inside. The whispered winds that shake the trees. The songs that skip and hide. I hear the rhymes that ride the tide. The swing. The sound. The beat. The lines that swell and slip and slide. In stanzas. Small and sweet. I hear the sounds that hold and wait. For those who seek to find. A safer shore. A surer state. A better frame of mind. When days are hard. When tempests cry. A squall of aches and pains. I close my eyes. And breathe a sigh. And poetry remains. That I'm not part of all the horror that is going on in the world. I'm not part of all the by their parents abuse teenagers. I'm not living in an area where there is war, hunger and no education. 
I have the extreme benefit of living in a good neighborhood, without any criminal activity. In general, I just compare myself to all the people in my age, who have it way worse. Then I realize how lucky I am. How good everything really is. I think of the soldiers in the trenches in WWI. It puts things in perspective on when I'm getting up early for a stressful day in the office. Preamble. I'm in no way a badass, and in no way am I scoreboarding anybody. Got mortared a few times in Afghanistan. After that, you come to realize that every day above ground is a gift. Why is there 69 silvers? Edit. Or it's not 69 anymore. Lack of money isn't that big of a deal when I remember that I have my health, a job I enjoy, and a partner that appreciates me. That I know what Obama's last name is. Tell em tell em tell em. It's care. Remembering that statistically speaking, we live in the most peaceful and prosperous time in history. Average lifespan is the longest it's ever been, and the world is slowly yet constantly getting better for everyone regardless of situation. It may not always look that way, but on average it is true. On an infinite timeline, I somehow happen to exist at the same time as Rick and Morty and Honey Mustard and Onion Pretzel Bites. I beat cancer. Everything else is easy. At least I'm not pregnant. My happy kids and the little things. This thread, even if I don't get an award, I love that someone is making everyone's day a little brighter. My cat is so soft. I look at the innocence and inquisitive nature of my almost 4 month old son. We just had a school shooting in our community, and I held him close all day. We had been trying to conceive for over 8 years and I cherish every moment with my baby boy. I'm striving to raise him to be a good, strong man to help offset the bad we have in this world. Remember that so far every human died at some point, and that life is very short and feels shorter with each passing year. So chin up and soldier on. There's no need to rush. Honestly, that one day it will all be over. I guess I'm comforted that better people than me have already gone. I'm a very shy and dumb person. I liked a lot of girls, but could never propose anyone because Jay always thought I wasn't worthy of their love and that they deserved better. I'm 20 and yesterday I came into a relationship with a girl that loves me for what I am. Life couldn't be better. After I had given up all hope, she just walked into my life and changed everything. I adopted an Afghan refugee. He's really killing it at life now. I helped a little bit, but his success is truly all his own. Existence of cats. R slash A W W. R slash humans beanbrus. R slash madam smile.